day 18 welcome it's Alicia here I am the founder of Bride Chiller and uh, the host of the Bride Chiller podcast and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the concept of sweating for the wedding and I thought it was very appropriate because I have six minutes until I need to leave because I am going to a body combat class whatever the hell that is every couple of months I like to sort of pick a different class and have a go at it and realize how truly uncoordinated I am in real life. Um, now look, if you are new to the 30 days of wedding planning, I advise you to go back and watch the other 17 episodes. Um, if you're following along every day, thank you and hello. And I hope you're finding value and enjoying these very short but informative videos. Now, I have a real problem with this concept of sweating for the wedding and not because I'm anti-exercise or putting yourself in a position where you're getting healthy. It's this concept that we have to change and improve ourselves for one day. And I think that the, the idea of sweating for the wedding started in a really good way and it's sort of taken a turn to the bad for the bad in my opinion I love exercise I find it a really important part of my life for my mind and my body I want to stay young I want to stay healthy and I really get a kick out of achieving something and like today going and doing a class I've never done before probably looking like a bit of a dickhead because I won't get how to do it but it's fun it's 30 to 50 minutes of my life that I'm pushing myself and I feel pretty chuffed afterwards that I've achieved something I've sweated a little bit and I move on with my life however when it comes to this idea of sweating for the wedding and and more you know going on Instagram and if you click that hashtag it really starts to bother me because it becomes like a competitive thing it's people dropping crazy amounts of weight to achieve something in an unhealthy way and I go back to this concept and I, I will talk about this further down the track with makeup and hair that some people find that they need to go through this intense transformation and I really struggle with that and, I, and again I'm, I want to reiterate getting healthy and looking after this amazing machine that is our body is something that I truly believe works uh, for, for mind and body connection it makes it de-stresses me it makes me feel great but I don't go and do workout classes so I can be super skinny because I know my body is just never going to do that and I want to be I'd rather be healthy and feel great and be a bit kick-ass for the day than go into this with the mindset of I'm going to be skeletal I have to work really hard I'm never going to achieve this and it becomes this awful battle so when I look at the hashtag and you click on it on Instagram and you read some of these posts it can be a really healthy and unhealthy environment sorry to be in and I find the concept of changing for a wedding day dramatically changing really weird your partner and you you and your partner have decided to make this thing official because you love each other and you fell in love with each other the way you are. So yes, I think, great. If you want to get a bit fit, good. Go and do a couple of classes. If you want to change in the long term and be more healthy and improve your lifestyle, great. But this concept of just going hardcore, not eating, doing all this workout and cardios, and actually, by the way, full on cardio all the time won't help you. You've got to do some hit training and weights and just really challenging yourself. I'm not against that, but I'm against this mindset that you have to go into some extreme unhealthy way uh, of, of making this happen. It makes me feel sad, actually. And often in the Bride Chiller community, you know, we do not... We do not tolerate weight loss threads. We just don't want to talk about that stuff. I'm happy for people saying, what's your favorite exercise? What are you doing to improve your health and well-being?" But if anyone talks about diet pills and diet shakes and this will happen overnight and all that sort of shit, we shut it down because I think it's a very unhealthy mindset and it is totally not what Bride Chill is about. So I'm going to head off to my body combat. I'll check back afterwards. I'm not going to look great. I mean, even now, this is not amazing. But uh, I'm going to give it a crack. 
I will report back briefly after this and see if I didn't make an idiot of myself and didn't end up on my ass. I'll be back. Okay, so I did the class. It felt good. I'm very red faced. I was a bit uncoordinated, but you know what? I gave it a crack. I got out there, I moved my body. I didn't feel any pressure and I enjoyed it. And I think that's what it should be about. Finding new activities that you enjoy and you wanna go back and do. That is the spirit of good health and actually having a good time and not feeling this pressure to go along and loathe it. That is my message to you. So if you have an exercise you really like and you wanna share with the community, then I highly encourage you to leave a comment below and uh, let me know. Look, see, not glamorous in any way, but uh, I wanted to show you that that's the reality of it all. I'm 37 years old and I think you've just gotta keep moving to look young and feel great. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you've subscribed and you're enjoying this series. And if you know someone that might need a bit of a pep talk in their wedding planning, that stress, that feels a little bit overwhelmed with it all, then I highly encourage you to uh, share Bride Chiller with them. Introduce them to me, I'm gonna help them. And you. Okay, I'll stop speaking in the street because people are walking past like this. Like, oh, she's talking on it, she's doing a video. Oh, embarrassing, but true. Love to you all, and happy days.